Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hey, welcome. Um, don't forget to like this video before it even starts. Don't forget to click the notification bell. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. Veterans, I see you. I see you. <laughs> Head to the back. So I have, I have a wedding tomorrow that I am basically finished preparing for um i don't i'm not nervous about this i'm not anxious at all like how i was with the other cake last weekend for the wedding um i don't know what i don't know what went wrong but my bride did not well my couple did not enjoy the cake um the recipe that i used is the recipe that i always use and it came out so well Fluffy and nice, moist, simple syrup, wrap, freeze, get it out of the freezer, stack, decorate, put back into the freezer, travel with it to the parish that it was being delivered to. But I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it didn't come back to room temperature quickly because it was, the, the cake layers were frozen. The cake layers were frozen, um, and then the the cake table was right under the AC unit. So it, I guess the environment was super cold, so it can it, it, it never really come down to temperature mm, properly. That is what I see. That is that could be the reason for why they didn't enjoy it because they said that they they. The cake was dry, um, they didn't enjoy the taste. But with every with every wedding cake that I do, I always make a little batch or a little batch left left over. So I tested the cake and the cake was totally fine. Um, and the cake was moist. So things like this happen. So just a few, you know, take the the feedback. I welcome all the feedback good bad our feedbacks are welcome and we just move on from that so um i offered to give them a complimentary cake so they should tell me the flavor flavors that they want this complimentary cake to be and then whenever they're passing through clarendon again i will get them that cake you know so yeah so that's that for that cake I have a wedding tomorrow, a two-tiered cake, two-tiered vanilla cake with cream cheese icing filling. Just a normal, just a simple textured design um, with flowers at the front. Totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> so yeah, so what I'm doing now is getting ready to go to the Nutsford Express to collect my stuff because I ordered some stuff from Arctic Cake Supplies. I want the buttercream to be white, so I ordered some white filling, white coloring, so I need to get that done because I have a, 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 a wedding, not wedding, a birthday cake on Sunday and I have another birthday cocomelon cake to deliver on Sunday also. So I have a bit of a busy weekend, my father is off work. My sister's car is out of commission. God is just so good because whenever one car is down, <laughs> he always make another one available. So I'm just like, okay, ready now. Go out to Mayfair, go to Nuts for the Ecomina Light, collect my package, head to Mayfair, um, make some deposits, and then buy an extra butter. Buy extra butter, buy extra ice and sugar, and come back and so we can start with four. Oh, and in some other note, I need blue sticks. So, yeah, so that's that, and I'll see you in the next clip. What is the next clip? I don't know why when we have the cake in the morning, it's a simple cake to do. Not even cake, a simple order to do. It's like say <laughs> it's hard to find the motivation. Super hard. We don't know why. 
find the motivation to start getting the work done. And that is the reason why I am just moving out to go and get these things done. We have to start for now because we have to start because <laughs> tomorrow everything I want, you know, want to come back and bake out the cake then for the other order then. So. Mm -hmm. Let me check my package, yeah. I don't know what me last time. <laughs> we can't find our photo no. <laughs> Why? Yes, so as I say, we buy someone only for white. Because I want the oil that I want the cake to be as white as I, as it possibly can. Buy some highlighter, I see. Gold highlighter. Um, this is for the small, this is for the, the birthday cake for Sunday. We're going to paint in a gold. And these. Hold on again. I'm going to buy some gold balls, black and gold balls for the cake. For the cake for Sunday, for Sunday also the birthday cake. So, we glad me get the stuff. A good thing we cut my. We not even have this. Up. When we reach home, hopefully we remember to tell you about this. Good thing we call Artsy today because I don't know some glitch. Must, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know what to place, but we never get an email confirmation email. She got the order, but me not get an email. So I just happened to call her just to find out if she got the email and she said the order sent her. So that was good. So into me and I go to get my glue sticks. Um to get my glue sticks to get ice and sugar to get more butter to come back. Oh go to the ATM, make deposits, come back. Once if we can sneak in, I want to go. No joy, the food is at home. But I don't want no egg. I probably have a fried egg. But I don't want. You see what you're trying to say? You know what I want? Popeyes. Go fry your egg. And toast your bread for your Popeyes. I think I saw this thing though. These angles, <laughs> these angle, angles are horrific. Do I have my lip, my lip glass? The people them in the car next door, right beside me. Good lady, I am so girl here. Have my lip glass. Me need for left one lip glass, one, one lip balm. And I'm the father care. The camera not yellow. Alright, so my pen we go. Oh my the sun. You can see it like that. I will be not coming this way. Oh no. Listen, my paranoid some somewhat paranoid, I don't know. I don't play that you see because people wicked me. I always look at my P's and Q's. I always I try to be aware for surroundings because people wicked. So it shine though. 
Hey, what me tell us say? People in the supermarket as if a mountain. So the twenty third of, of June, and a mountain yet. When I know what's in the supermarket, I have to haul up my box and walk come at the back <laughs> of the supermarket because. No space at their front. <sighs> the ATM is full. The, the drive through drive through line full. I don't know why I see. I don't know why I see what's happening. What's happening? Very mucky. Well, let me go home. Let me look at egg sandwich because I don't know. Say, chest feel like you want to hide, but if you cannot compress it back in. Mm -hmm. Because what kind of papa is you want by now? <laughs> it's a brightness. So I'll see when we reach home or whenever. Tell me why I made a notation of the glue sticks. Going to Mapen, see how terrible Mapen is, and totally avoided where glue sticks are sold. Of course, subconsciously, because we don't want to a drive in a traffic. I left Mapen and come back home without the glue stick I'm going to need. So breakfast time. What time is it? Two forty-one. Breakfast time. What a good egg um, bagel sandwich. I'm hungry. So cake is now ready for delivery. Good afternoon. Just letting you know that I am leaving now with the cake to come to you. Yeah, we have rain down here. I'm here. Oh, rain? Is it a fall hard? It's kind of, it's not like too fall, but not so heavy. Okay, so I'll, I'll call you when I get there. I'm about to leave to head down to to the venue, Final Park, down at the veranda. We'll see each other when we get there or whatever the next clip will be. Another Saturday, another wedding cake delivery. So by now, we're not supposed to know that wedding cake deliveries and me, we <laughs> have a weird relationship going. So many years ago, I have had so many disasters on my way to deliver wedding cakes. From the cake breaking apart to the cake tears falling off each other <laughs> to serving a customer a store-bought cake because the cake that I ended up delivering tried to deliver actually did not make it to the wedding so when you see me on my way to a wedding cake delivery anxiety is more than likely taking over my body but for this wedding cake delivery the only anxiety I got was from the journey, the roads. The toll gate roads was horrible. Just got to basically the location um, where I know the location is, is where I went. But apparently, the entrance was moved. So the person who was in charge of the cake was telling me that oh i needed to <laughs> enter from a certain point but because meanwhile the last time i went there the entrance so me took up myself and gone on the entrance as you can see i'm on my way to the entrance with your car about the lady because me no see what she has say um <laughs> 
um, taking my little time that brown building in front of us is actually the location so when I got to got to the the entrance there was no entrance to get black off so I call her back to tell her I say yo let me reach here so but I don't see the entrance that I know is there so she say you know what just turn back you reach too far you shouldn't even pass juicy beef so this is me turning back <laughs> Turning back, we go back to the lady to try to follow the instructions. Finally, what I was given. So everything still work out though, but yeah, this is me just going back, doubling back on the instruction, specific instruction that she gave me, and I did not follow <laughs> because of what I already had in my mind. And see, follow my mind, I end up last technically. So I'm just kind of make my way back to where she said I should come and I found it easily. <laughs> See we are boom, we reach. Walking into the, the, the location, we open the cake box, we realize that the buttercream and the bottom cake no, started to separate from the cake. Any but here? that was fine because I know I could I could fix it. But when we are going to fix it, I realized that I left accidentally left my emergency kit with my knife palette knife and such so good thing the couple had their little knife and server set on the table where i could use the tip of the the little server and kind of smooth back the buttercream to the cake and this is me just fixing everything wiping off the excess buttercream off the board just getting myself ready and even in this little section <laughs> This kind of give me anxiety when I have to when I reach to the ridden and I'm setting up the cake and there's an audience. <laughs> I am a nervous wreck. When people are stand up and I look, me don't know, me don't ever become shy. Me don't ever become shy, but why me don't know? Me don't like when me I fix up a cake and people are walk past, people are see. Walk in my mind, I'm saying, what if something go wrong now? People are gonna see, and this I gonna put added pressure upon me. Trust me. Wedding cake delivery is a trip for me, but I'm getting better. God is helping me, and I'm getting better. One year from now, I think I'll be a lot better than where I'm coming from. <laughs> so yeah, this is me wiping off the, the knife and the server set because I had used it. And not just because I've used it, because it was not covered. So I want to ensure that, you know, when it is time for them to use it and to cut the cake, everything is spotless. Everything is without, um, you know, any little blemish. So this is the cake after we cover it with the, with the veil. Um, the topper was a bit smaller than what we anticipated so we had to make you know make a hole and added the extra flowers to the hole to kind of cover it up and this is us leaving thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video <laughs>